Elon Musk has trouble these days staying out of the spotlight. It's not his fault. His extremely innovative thinking and rebel ways of doing things just lend themselves to everyone wanting to watch what he's up to. Even though Musk's most well-known business venture, Tesla, pays him zero dollars in salary, his net worth is approaching $100 billion and in the top handful of richest people who have ever lived. So what we are all dying to know is, how did he make all that money and how could he possibly spend it all? Well, you'll see all that and more today on Behind the Screen. In the beginning, despite the appearance of ease and seamlessness in Musk's current efforts, getting his massive fortune and impressive career off the ground took some serious effort and grit. As a teenager, he worked several manual labor jobs like chopping wood and shoveling grain. While his $18 an hour wage in 1989 wasn't too bad, it was certainly a far cry from the $48 billion that Musk made between March and August of 2020. I'm not a mathematician, but I'm pretty sure you can't do that on 18 bucks an hour. But alongside these hourly jobs, Elon was also laying the groundwork for his entrepreneurial path. By the age of 12, he had already taught himself to code and sold the source code to a video game for $500. He also figured out a quick way to make rent while studying at the University of Pennsylvania by transforming the frat house into a speakeasy on the weekends. In addition to running the underground party ring, Musk also built and sold custom computer parts to fellow students that turned out to be both better and cheaper than what they could buy off the market at the time. And just a few short years later, Elon Musk sold his first company for over $300 million, giving him the capital he would need to become the world changer he was destined to be. A trend you'll notice with Musk is a clear pattern of reinvestment of profits. Yes, he has nice stuff, and we will see plenty of it here in a second. But by and large, his biggest spending occurs in the area of growing his businesses and expanding his empire in efforts to change the world. PayPal. So with that, here is Elon's first big expenditure. After he sold his first business, Zip2, Musk took the $22 million personal profit and reinvested over half of it to find X.com, which was an online banking service in the early days of web-based banking. Pretty soon, the fledgling company merged with its primary competitor to form PayPal. Ever heard of it? So when eBay ultimately purchased PayPal, Elon came out of the deal with 180 million in his pocket. Not a bad investment of that 22 million at all. SpaceX and Tesla. Now with some serious dough in his pocket, Musk could turn to his real interests, which were space exploration, solar power, and cars. First came SpaceX, which was launched with the mission of revolutionizing space travel through building the world's best rockets and spacecraft, and ultimately colonize other planets in the universe. Those are some lofty goals, but before you laugh, you should remember all the other stuff Elon Musk has done that everyone said was impossible. Shortly thereafter, Elon founded Tesla in hopes of transforming how travel is done on this planet as well. This reinvestment of his PayPal profits turned out to be a wise one by propelling Musk into the elite category of billionaires. But what goes up must come down, and Elon's quick trajectory upwards was headed for a crash. Divorce and being broke. In 2008, Musk dropped a pretty penny on getting divorced. Turned out this unfortunate event takes a heavy toll on everybody, even the founder of Tesla. The year after that, Elon reportedly ran out of cash and had been living off of loans from friends while trying to keep his companies above water. While discouraging, of course, Musk had been here before. He'd spent in time the trenches living off of metaphorical beans and rice while sleeping in the office and coding all night long. So he kept plowing ahead knowing that a rebound would come. And in 2012, after taking Tesla public, Musk's net worth registered at $2 billion. That's continued to multiply ever since. Houses After becoming a billionaire, Elon dropped over $100 million on residential property in California. Much of it was purchased without any real plans to live there. Maybe he was just trying to control who his neighbors would be. For example, he purchased the house of actor Gene Wilder, seemingly in efforts to prevent it from being torn down. Hearing him describe the home makes it sound like it's just as quirky as Wilder himself. When he decided to sell, Musk essentially made no money from the deal. 
Relinquishing the house to Wilder's own nephew, the understanding that the house would retain its original character, sold for just over $250,000 more than it was purchased. After taxes and fees and all that must made no profit other than to preserve this strange little home of one of his favorite actors. Included in his house buying spree was this 1.67 acre Bel Air property, which included all the comforts of a billionaire's home. A two-story library, 1,000 bottle wine cellar, tennis courts, a gym, home theater, etc. It wasn't only the Wilder house that Musk offloaded recently, but nearly all of his residential properties, vowing to sell all of it and not to own a house. Strange thing to do, I guess, but nothing Elon does should surprise us at this point. Cars. Now, obviously, the owner of a car manufacturer and a space exploration company is going to be into cars. And not surprisingly, Elon loves the sharpest and fastest cars out there. In addition to pretty much every model of Tesla, or at least his favorite ones, Elon also owns or has owned a variety of other sweet rides. So here are just a few. Model T. It's only right that such an innovator as Musk in the early 21st century should own the car that changed the world in the early 20th century. Given to Elon as a gift from a friend, the Ford Model T, nicknamed Tin Lizzie, revolutionized travel starting in 1908, much in the same way that Elon Musk is attempting to change the world today. F1 In 2000, Musk was on a road trip to an important meeting in his McLaren F1 when he turned to his passenger, Peter Thiel, and uttered the famous last words, Watch this! before stepping on the gas. The back end of the vehicle began to drift from the climbing speeds, causing the pair to make contact with an embankment, sending them airborne. While they landed, both driver and passenger were unhurt, but the McLaren was toast. As Elon waited for police to arrive on the scene, Teal, unshaken by the carnage, hitched hike ahead to their destination. Jaguar After falling in love with the Jaguar at age 17, Musk told himself he would buy one if he ever could afford it. So after making his first $22 million paycheck, he marched down to the dealership and got one. Apparently, it wasn't in the greatest condition and broke down before he even got home. Lotus Esprit The amphibious vehicle featured in the James Bond film The Spy Who Loved Me is a Lotus Esprit. Elon reportedly paid over $997,000 for it and has plans to upgrade the vehicle to be able to drive underwater in real life. I don't think he's kidding. Well, there you have it, how Elon Musk makes and spends his billions. Now, before we go, make sure you hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you enjoyed what you saw here today. And we'll see you right back here in the next great video on Behind the Screen.